Happy 2024, everybody. I'm back and in front of the green screen. Um, I haven't done this in a while, and it's probably going to look wonky because I have to get back to my setup. It used to be a chair on top of a bin. Now it's just a chair, a stool, and several books. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Welcome back. Happy 2024. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful 2023. I did. I got married, graduated with my MBA, had a wonderful honeymoon, among many other things. So if you had a wonderful 2023, let me know down below. But anyways, let's get into today's video. So over 2023, I had this list on my phone of notes that I would take about things that annoy me on the internet. And I kind of forgot what a lot of them meant. I just remember writing them down throughout 2023. So I'm going to go through with them and see if they make sense or if I can remember why I wrote them. I picked a handful of them. I didn't have everything in here. This video would be, listen, I get annoyed by the internet a lot, but this should be uh, about four or five items. So let's get started. First thing, Instagram search feed, one meme, and it thinks that's all I want to see. Okay, yeah, that's true. I remember at one point, you can see the Snoopy shirt. I love Snoopy. Uh, my dad worked for MetLife when uh, Snoopy was a, the mascot. He's not anymore. So I, I grew up with a lot of Snoopy stuff, um, just random swag that he would get and stuff. Um, but I looked at a picture of Snoopy on Instagram, and the next thing I know, Instagram is like, you love Snoopy, don't you? You love it. You love it so much. You want to see That's all you want to see is Snoopy. And it's like... <laughs> not really. It's amazing how the algorithm will take one little thing that you look at and just go, that's all you want to see. And I get that, like, in a sense. Like, some people probably do, Brad. I mean, the algorithm works that way for a reason. People see one thing and they're like, that's my personality at this point. Um, it's the same way with my wife sends me dog memes, and now all of a sudden, like, my Instagram page is dog memes and then just anime stuff, I think, is, like, the grant, you know, the gist of it. This next note says, stop putting Chris Pratt in everything. <laughs> that had to have been, that was recent and back when the Mario movie came out earlier this year. I remember thinking like, it's fine, I guess it's serviceable as Mario. I know a lot of people wanted Charles Martinet to do it, but I don't know how he would have done outside of just doing the wahoos and the short little things. Um, I know he's, he's no longer the voice of Mario. That also happened in 2023. Um, but it was Chris Pratt. It was fine. It was serviceable. The movie was very good. I really enjoyed the Mario Brothers movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But I remember stop putting Chris Pratt in everything because of the Garfield movie. He's in the Garfield. He's Garfield now. He's not only Mario, he's Garfield. But unlike Mario, where he kind of gave himself like a little bit of an accent, Garfield, he's just like, hey, this is Chris Pratt. I'm Garfield now. That's the extent of it. Uh, Chris Pratt's fine. He's fine. I like him in things. He's very talented. But can we stop putting him in everything? He doesn't have to voice every animated creature. Like, next thing you know, it's going to be like, well, Sonic is now Chris Pratt. And all these other, it just, every Pixar movie Chris Pratt stars in. He was in a Pixar movie, I'm pretty sure. Didn't watch it, but I'm pretty sure he was in it. But, yeah, that note says, stop putting Chris Pratt in everything. This next one says, uh, TikTok shop. Uh, I think I remember that became a thing in 2023, I believe, where you're able to monetize products through the TikTok shop. And I don't know if you watch TikTok. I know it's more like a Gen Z, Gen Alpha thing. Millennials like myself and older don't really use it as much, but I do enjoy browsing TikTok before I go to bed at night. And I just, I am inundated with like all these different like shops of like buy Pokemon cards, buy these little widget things, buy these clothes, buy this, buy that. And it's just like, why is this like, it's just taken over. Like I just wanted to watch funny videos or like fails or something cute, but now I'm just inundated with all these like TikTok shop videos. And some of them are like, you can't even tell really, but if you look close enough, you'll see eligible for commission, which means they're selling you a product, even if they're not outright doing it in a store. And that just pisses me off that yet another app has fallen to merchandising and sales and just all that stuff. I get it, but I also hate it. This one says, not everyone needs podcasts. Old celebrities stop sharing. So I think the old celebrities part was the uh, the fact that all these celebrities from shows that we saw as kids or maybe you saw as, uh, later on in life um, has just hold on to that one thing they did and create a podcast around it. The best example, I, for me at least, is the two people, the two women from uh, The Office that started a podcast where they just watch the episodes and talk about them. And it's like, sure, it's fine. You get some little sneak peek things. But at the end of the day, they're just holding on to that office, you know, like that's what we're known for and that's what we have left. That's all we have. Um, so it's kind of annoying. I don't listen to it. And you just, there's an innumerable amount 
of podcasts from people that used to be on a television show and are now trying to stay relevant by talking about that show. Um, stop sharing Ned's. Oh, that's right. So I didn't really watch the show. It was behind. It was felt like I was a little past old. I mean, I was a little old for this show when it came out. But Ned's Declassified Survival Guide. Wow, I got that one try. Was about this kid who, like, you know, gave you this guide to survive in school as a kid. Um, and he and two of the other main characters, the other two main characters, I guess, from the show, started a podcast where they kind of divulge stuff about the show. They do do some like. Uh, you know, just generic banter. Like, it's not always about the show, which I give them a pass for that. But I do remember recently hearing, and this was later in 2023, I guess, the female from that show, the female lead character in that show, who was, like, his love interest, was just banging her way through the cast when they were, like, young adults or, like, teenagers. Just, like, and she just goes into it, just talking about how she blew this guy and fucked this guy, and it's just, like, come on, have a little decency. Like, do you really need to tell that just because you have a podcast? I feel like some of these celebrities who hold on to this stuff end up kind of putting themselves out there a little too much at times. Uh, and that's definitely one of the cases. <laughs> All right, the last one, finally, it just says Bevo. Bevo. If you don't know who Bevo is, he's this British guy that doesn't chew his food and he swallows like he's going to die. <laughs> it bothers me. And it created this challenge on TikTok and just social media in general where people are trying to eat like they're mocking him. So they're like, pretending to be him and like eating. He takes like two bites and he's like, like struggles to swallow food. And it bothers me so much. I've had to block it on social media because I don't want to see it anymore. Like this guy just disgusts me. It's fine. Whatever. I don't hate him as a person. Sure. Whatever. But he's creating a terrible trend with his inability to chew his food. Chew your food. You don't have to chew it 20 times, but chew it enough to where you don't struggle and almost choke to death when you eat. And that's from some guy that's choked multiple times trying to eat. I've chewed my food. I just got a little excited and ate too fast. But that's beside the point. I didn't put it on social media for all that. So that's four or five things that, you know, since I've been gone, these are the things that have been annoying me. Uh, it's a new year. I plan to do more green screen videos. I really enjoy doing these. I just kind of had to get back in the swing of doing it. So expect more of these. I'm hoping that in 2024, I can move away from the gaming a little bit and more into stuff like this because I really enjoy doing this. It just takes more time, and I'm currently on trying to upload a video every day until I've been doing it for a year, and then maybe I'll slack off. Who knows? But if you like this video, there's more videos here, here, whatever. I'll put them up um, of green screen videos that I did last year. So if you like those um, or you like this one, go check it out. I really appreciate it. If we have a Discord, you can go look at the links in the description. And subscribe, and I love you, and like the video, and all that stuff that I probably should have said at the beginning, but I didn't. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. I love you. Bye-bye.